I'm excited for 2K22, but today I want to look at SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 and some of these big moves that are in that game, but are not in the current crop of 2K games. Let's go. Wasn't SmackDown vs. Raw just awesome? I've gone back and looked at a couple of different videos so far, and man, I just love how the game was. And actually, 08 actually kind of holds up. Let's look at these 20 moves. Kane! Moves that should be in 2K, yes. Chair assisted poetry in motion. Why can't we have this? Look at this. Look at the graphics on this. This is not bad. You got a different crap. Whoa, boom, Jeff Hardy. that whole thing what do you got corner table spear i can't get over just how the game looks oh you got the smackdown ref with the blue shirt i love that corner table spear see right now they don't do any of this what is wrong with 2k we don't get any of this cool stuff that's awesome what a maneuver yeah get him up get him up i love the simplicity of it too dang it Oh, Sabu with the triple jump moon salt. That's a cool move. Let's see how he does this. I remember that. Now, let's hold it there. How come you take that move out? That is spectacular. If you could pull that off with your creative stars, you could just change up move sets. Give me guys like Big Show for AEW now, Paul White. Get him doing one of those. Get Amos doing a triple jump moon salt you go crazy for that let's keep going sabu what do you got now barricade clothesline that's not in 2k oh i guess not oh they just kind of like dumped them over all this is making me want to do is go back to smackdown versus raw 08 rick flair knee drop i'm i'm like amazed that these moves are not in 2k this is throwing me off oh he's strutting kane strikes see like specific moves for those superstars stuff that you can identify like kane's big punches i'm telling you man like graphically this is this is fine like if 2k was like how do we make things better just do stuff like this. Normal spin sweet chin music. Oh, he's got against the rock, like 03 rock. See, look how simple. Press Y to hit a finisher. Thank you very much. Oh, I love that. I love when Sean just falls right into the pin. That was awesome. Table pile driver. Mm, see, this is telling me why they don't actually do this anymore. Sandman. It drives me nuts trying to set somebody up for a table spot. It drives me nuts. The amount of times I the collision detection is terrible. The amount of times that I gotta like walk them around and I keep whipping them into it. That's nice. That's see. And look at that table destruction. The table could stay there longer, but that's fine. Drives me nuts. Table moves. Okay. Where's my pause button? Before Bob Lashley destroys, which is hilarious, and you got Kennedy. Love it. Why with the announce table can I not put them through? I don't get why 2K took this away. Why can't I go in a match? You rip the top off of it, the cover, and then you can't you can't put them through it half the time. They took that away where in like any given match, I could just put my opponent through the table. Also, there's no ring bell at, at the side anymore. I miss that. You could turn it into an actual hardcore match. See, look at that. Jipping and jiving Bob Lashley. Lashley, was, he's just dangerous. Isn't it amazing that Lashley has like come back? He, he was like, okay in his first run. And then he came back and he's dominated it. Extreme makeover. What is happening? I don't remember this. I played all of these games. And I don't remember this. This is a long maneuver. What is what is he doing? Bulldog? Oh, okay, cool. 
Is that it? Okay, that was it. Nah, that was okay. Flapjack, flapjack, and drop kick for the front. Jeff Hardy again. Big old moves from Jeff Hardy. Rey Mysterio, our supposed showcase star. Cover star. Leg drop number one. Okay. You'd think that with 2K, they got so many moves that they want to talk about that they have in the game. And they keep doing new animations. Like, I hope that they've actually upgraded the amount of moves we have. Because this stuff is awesome. Table Hurricanrana. See, it's all the weapon physics and the interactions they do with different things. Look at that! That is so awesome! That's what made these games really, really fun, was how crazy and creative you could actually get with it. Versus, I just, I can push somebody into a table. Counter dropkick. Oh, I love that. And like, they made Rey feel like Rey Mysterio in these games. Oh god, take her sitting up. One-handed RKO? Let me see this. Oh, that's badass. That was when Randy was legend killer Randy Orton. Now he's RK Bro. Table pedigree. The pedigree. DX Triple H. The game going up. Ric Flair. Put him through table. Golden shovel. Seriously, how many of us are going to go back and just play like 08? Because this is freaking cool. And Kablamo! So I can't do this in 2K. That That is really, yeah. That's what I think too, Triple H. I also think that. With the, with the thing. Arabian leg? Yeah, Sabu's got some cool moves. See, I hope they do bring this back though, because they talk a lot about having different camera angles. And how we're getting close-ups in 2K22. I hope that this is what they're trying to do next, and with the cutscenes when they're doing like those moves from like Sabu. King Buka knee drop. That's what I really hope that they're gonna try to do is get in different camera angles to freshen up the presentation. I personally I like having the close-up zoom look in the ring. It makes it feel like you can actually like see the action and you can see the stars like facial animations. When you have the pulled back camera view that we have in like 2K19 and 20, I just don't, it's boring to me. Now we've had those games for so long, right? Brock's just like losing his mind. Rated RKO. Is this the top turnbuckle one? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Randy. Hit it. Oh. Oh, it's when he fakes him out. That's sick. Come on, let's go. That's not in 2K20? Huh. I don't care for that. Air Sabu. Creator for this really loves Sabu's moves. It's just a cool move. All those springboard moves are really, really fantastic. Toss referee. Ah, that's awesome. See, we don't even get that. We don't get refer. Look at this. We get referee animations and in the interactions. That allows you to create your own story in the game. That allows you to change things up. Look at that referee. He's Mike Yoda is just done. He's just done. He's flatlined. There you have it, everybody. You got like 20 moves that were in 08 that are not in 2K20, and hopefully they will be in 2K22. It drives me nuts that we can't get most of these moves in 2K20. Hopefully 2K22 will take notes of all these things. We have things like my GM mode. We've got my rise. I hope that what they're doing is they're freshening up the amount of moves that we have, the actual camera angles in there as well, and hopefully they redesign a lot of the stuff to make it a little bit more engaging SmackDown vs. Raw series is like on the arcadey side of things, right? A little bit. But look how well that holds up. And that's the point of wanting to do this, is have some fun with all of you today. But also take a look at just like some of the cues, some of the things that they should be taking from other previous titles, like the SmackDown vs. Raw series, and actually implement it in 2K22. I don't know if they're going to go that far, but you can really see over the progression, the history of these games, how far 2K really went into the simulation aspect of it and tried to tried really hard to make this a polished sports feel game 
and they really got away from what made the games really, really accessible and really, really fun. So hopefully with 2K22, they're circling back to those elements. And we get a game that's going to hit different. See, that's, that's what they say in the videos all the time. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next episode.